Ang tulog na lang, NBA All-Star Weekend na. Totoo nga ba na hindi kaya tapatan ng East All-Stars ang firepower ng West? At sino ang magiging kalaban nila Clay Thompson at Aaron Gordon sa 3-point shootout at slam dunk competition? Makakausap natin ngayong gabi ang basketball analyst na si Sir Enzo Floho. Mr. <laughs> Hipnot back on the score. What's up? Well, uh, All-Star game, that's yes. why. All-Star yeah, weekend, yeah. Um, let's talk about the three-point shootout, the slam dunk competition, and the All-Star game. I have some, some questions that I would like to ask you. Let's look at the three-point shootout first. Now, historically, in the past, normally, we see the shooters, talaga, as, in, yeah. as in shooters. Uh, like Steve Kerr, Mark Price, those types of guys, role players on a team. <laughs> like a <little>, But eh? <laughs> the past couple of years, we've seen a lot of superstars. Like yeah. Harden was part yeah. of it, yeah. the Splash Brothers, yes. JJ Redick. And I think the trend is continuing because we have Campbell Walker in yeah. it, CJ McCollum, Clay Thompson is there. So what do you think of this trend na yung mga superstars kasale dito sa three-point shootout? Well, having high-profile players in mm. an all-star event is mm. always going to be helpful. And uh, that's what we're going to see. That's what we've been seeing for the past couple of seasons. And that's what we're going to continue to see here. You have Clay Thompson, um, who's the defending uh, champion for the whole thing. Um, his splash brother sadly is not joining, but let's <laughs> si Kyrie Irving, yeah. may Kai Lowry ka, arguably the two best point guards in the East. Mm -hmm. You have Kemba Walker right there, who's, who's having a great shooting season, mm -hmm. um, and so that's CJ McCollum also and a host of other guys. Nick Young is always going to be very why? entertaining. <laughs> why, why, why is he there? <laughs> well, Nick Young's actually, yeah, he's actually shooting pretty decently from long range. I mean, we all know him from that meme from last yeah. season. Where, where, he, he, where he turns around and spreads yeah, his hands out. Na, pasok na, diba? but, <laughs> and I'm praying we see that here, actually. Oh, really? Something like that. So we'll see. But he's, he's, he's always up, you know, as an entertaining guy. And, you know, I, I think he matches that, that kind of thing we want to see in, in an all-star event. Someone who will entertain us. So. Kemba Walker, though, um, his shooting form is very unique. He <laughs> likes very unorthodox. To, yeah. He likes to take those long step back yeah. jumpers and then really jump high and release the shot at the peak of his jump. Yes. There's no way he's gonna shoot like that though <laughs> in the three point shootout. Well, so he's he's definitely gonna have to make an adjustment. Oh, on, I mean, yeah. uh, the way he he's very herky jerky. Yes. But <laughs> Derrick Rose issue kind of movements. And, uh, well, definitely he's a better shooter than Derrick Rose. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure if in this type of three point atmosphere he'll be able to do really really well. You know, granted he's having his best three point shooting season so far in his career. But when you're up against Quick release guys like Clay Thompson, um, Kyrie Irving, diba? Um, it's may hirapan to si, si Kemba Walker tingin ko. And I think for me, yeah, of course, Clay Thompson's a favorite, but a dark horse for me would be CJ McCollum of mm -hmm. the Trailblazers. Aside from CJ, sino pa ang nakita mong threat sa corona nitong si Clay Thompson? Well, just because I think there's that, you know, that uh, rivalry, although they don't want to admit it, between mm -hmm. the Golden State and Cleveland, I think Kyrie's going to be pumped. To try and maybe snatch that uh, that three point crown from Clay Thompson and so win that, it again because he's yes. been a champion in the past. Yeah, that's so, true. So wow. that's that'll, that'll be an interesting rivalry, I think, to so watch wow. out for in this so, event. So I like your picks. I like that Clay Thompson, C.J. McCollum, and yeah. Kyrie Irving. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the slam dunk competition. Sadly, Zach Levine yes. is not uh, going to be part of it. Um, uh, we pray for his speedy recovery. Of uh, we hope that the hops will still be there yeah. after the ACL surgery. Aaron Gordon. Uh, I felt like it could have gone either way last year oh, uh, yeah, when, when, they had, when they had that dunk off. So I'm happy he's back. Pero balita ako, you were telling me earlier na na injury itong si Aaron Gordon. And then, why is DeAndre Jordan there though? <laughs> I mean, Chris Paul is not going to be around That's to pass him the ball. So, okay, uh, that first. Ba bakit nandyan si uh, DeAndre Jordan? Well, I, I want to say that he's the token big guy. But, okay. Uh, but he's one of the best in-game dunkers right now. But you're right though. I mean, one of the biggest reasons he's so good at dunking the basketball for the Clippers is because he has guys like Chris Paul, you know, making really good lob passes with 90% of the time. And he needs that to be effective. I don't, I don't, I can't imagine him, you know, <laughs> dribbling the basketball from the half court line and then doing something with it and then dunking it. I mean, I, I, we've been pampered with Zach Levine yeah. and Aaron Gordon the past couple of seasons. And imagining DeAndre Jordan doing anything that rivals what they did it's 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 probably impossible eh? but you know if blake griffin flies in oh. if you know if he has a buddy uh. who flies in and he help, helps him out by throwing some lobs up there anything can happen but the, the, the thing with dj is he's a powerful dunker mm. but i'm not sure if he ha is creative enough 
to be able to really do well in this competition. All right, there's some other guys here also. The son of the big dog, Glenn yeah. Robinson. Glenn yep. Robinson the third is here. And uh, this other guy who's not really known, doesn't even have a photo on his Wikipedia <laughs> page, Derek Jones Jr. Yes. Uh, but you've checked them out. Um, what can we expect from these guys? Well, Glenn Robinson has some hops. Uh, I think out of the four, he is maybe the, the clear underdog in this whole thing. Um, he's, he's shown the season that he can get up there, but creativity-wise, I'm not so sure. That's why I think he hired Team Flight to help him prepare for the slam dunk contest. Um, you can see Derek Jones Jr., believe it or not, Anton, he, he could be the dark horse guy in this competition. Um, a lot of people, after watching his YouTube videos the past couple of weeks, a lot of people are convinced that this guy can, can sky and he has, he has the hops, the creativity to be a pretty interesting rival for, for Aaron Gordon. And given, given the fact that Aaron Gordon may not be 100%, Derek Jones Jr. may just, you know, steal the limelight from, 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 from Gordon. Be a YouTube sensation to a slam dunk the champion, YouTube possibly. YouTube sensation, yeah, yeah. <laughs> possible. Right. So, uh, your picks, uh, top two picks, Aaron Gordon and Jones Jr. Yes, they are my top two picks, All right. locking that in. Alright, let's move on now to the All-Star Game. A lot of interesting storylines. Of course, LeBron James wants to help the East yeah. win again. Because uh, it's been two, two years that uh, they've lost. He's been an All-Star Game MVP in New Orleans before. Yes. So has Kyrie Irving. So I can imagine a, a very intense pep talk in, in the <laughs> locker room from LeBron telling his teammates, Oh, come on, guys. We haven't won in the past two seasons. Yeah. But can they match the firepower of the West, Enzo? Well, it's very difficult. Though. I mean, you have KD with the three other Golden State Warriors. You have Russell Westbrook right there. Um, you have some really good reserves as well. So it's going to be very difficult to, to go up against a very deep, streak-shooting, athletic West team. But, you know, anytime your team has LeBron, and he feet, if he takes this very seriously, they can definitely become a threat. And there's always that chip on his shoulder. Sabi mga Anton, they haven't win in a couple of years. So they want to, to get over that hump, you know, in this edition of the All-Star game. Right. Everybody raving about the West, uh, their firepower, but yeah. I think there might be some problems in the <laughs> locker room because uh, you have Russell Westbrook yes. there, you have James Harden yes, yes, there, you yes. have Kevin Durant. Yeah. Na after, after a while, huh? well. <laughs> well. I'm not sure so how, how do well you think that that's went. going to turn out? I mean, how is KD going to react seeing Russell Westbrook in the same locker room again, seeing each other in the hallway and vice versa? <laughs> well, if, if their match up or their game this past weekend is any indication, I think there's going to be, well, not my bad blood, but I don't think they're going to be very, very friendly with each other. I think they will be civil. They might, you know, let's say Russell Westbrook gives an assist and it just so happens KD's the one who's receiving the assist. <laughs> Maybe a high five or a low five here or there, but I don't think there are going to be any, you know, chest bumps, you know, really unnecessary pleasantries between the two. I want to see the four Warriors and Westbrook on the floor at the same time. And what I want to see, you know, how that dynamic is going to happen. I'm not sure Westbrook would like to see that, though. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I want to see. But okay, how will he react to this? No? But we'll see, we'll see. I mean, Steve Kerr is going to be the coach. I'm not sure if he, he wants that, that situation to, you know, to manage that kind of situation. All right, very quickly, Enzo, your guess for finals, uh, or excuse me, All-Star Game MVP. Um, it's, it could be Westbrook again because mm -hmm. I think he's going to be so pumped. But uh, it, it, you know, I, I, now I think my vote is going to swing to KD probably. Wow. Because this is a guy who really wants to prove a lot this season. And that would moving be, to Golden State and you know, all these things. That would really piss off Russell Westbrook. Oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Enzo. <laughs> it's great to see you again. We'll talk hoops again sometime. Thanks, Don. Susanod, swimming icon. Hi guys, keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.